So first things first, I'm going to apply some primer. This is the Underwear Future Resistant Foundation Primer um, from Delilah. And it's been designed to perfectly prepare the skin for makeup, ensuring it will apply more easily, look great and last longer. Now I'm applying this on my fingers, I like to really push it into the skin. Moving on to brows, so I'm going to go for quite a natural brow. I'm going to use soap brows to just push my brow into shape. Um, I'd like it to be quite a fluffy brow, so the soap brows just really gently styles the brow for you um, and it will remain that shape all day for you. So I'm now going to define my shape and I'm going to go in with the Browline Retractable Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Sable. And as you can see, I'm just drawing like hair like strokes into my brow on top of the soap brow products, it's there. This allows me to determine the shape of my eyebrow and also fill in any wee patchy bits that I'm sure we all have after being in lockdown for a while. So once I'm happy with the shape of my brow, I'm just going to tidy up the underneath. Um, I'm going to use the Delilah Farewell Cream Concealer in the shade Barley. And just with a little flat brush, I'm just going to sharpen up the edge of my brow. Now to try the Alibi, yay! So Alibi Foundation is weightless, waterproof, sweatproof and apparently lifeproof. It's a completely buildable foundation. Um, so I'm using about a medium coverage, I would say, just now with a new brush and just applying it to the apples of my cheeks and then blending out the rest of the product around my face. So at the moment you can see I'm using the full coverage brush, which is a new brush released with this foundation. So by using the brush, I'm in control of the product. Um, I can build it up as much as I would like um, to create the nice kind of full natural matte finish. Now you could always use your fingers and get more of a lightweight look. So I'm really happy with my base. I'm just going to have to cover up these dark circles. I'm using the Delilah Take Cover Radiant Cream Concealer in the shade Stone. And I am just popping that underneath my eye and going back in with the full coverage brush and just blending that out into the base. I'm then going to grab a small brush and just gently buff that around the delicate area of the eye. I'll then just take a wee bit more of the concealer and apply that around any red areas, um, generally just around the nose. I'm blending any more of the concealer into the base, it was there already. I'm now going to add on a little bit of the Pure Light Liquid Radiance in the shade Lunar. This is a beautiful lightweight liquid illuminator um, that you can actually apply on top of your product and it will not go patchy. Um, it just really enhances the skin, gives a glow from within and it's not got a horrible trail of glitter that some liquid illuminators give you. So I'm really just adding that to any high point in the face and blending it in with the foundation brush we used previously. So now I'm going to set my base. I'm going to use the Pure Touch Micro Fine Loose Powder. Um, I've been using this again for a while and I absolutely love it. It's a jet mill product so the particles are so small they literally sink into all your pores creating like an airbrush effect. So now that I've set my base, I can go in with some powder bronzer. I use the shade Bamboo in the Alibi Foundation, which I feel was a really good match for my skin tone. So I'm just applying a little bit of the Medium Dark Sunset Compact Matte Bronzer to the cheekbones. As you can see, this instantly adds a little bit of warmth and allows me to create a more sculpted look. So I'm using the bronzer into the temples and bringing it up around the hairline as well to create that sun-kissed glow. I'm now going to add a little more brightness to my skin. I'm using the Pure Light Compact Brightening Powder in the shade Luster. This product's got a beautiful peachy golden undertone, so it really works well as a blush, but also bringing it up onto the cheekbone because it's got a nice kind of soft shimmer, so it blends into your highlight there that we applied earlier on. So now that I've used all the powder products I planned on using, I'm going to go in with my brows again. I'm just going to use a Brow Shape Defining Brow Gel. Um, this is just going to take away any excess product that might have fallen onto the brow. It's also going to kind of help my brows stay in place, creating that nice kind of fluffy look. So I'm going to curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and then lastly stick on the mini H167 Lashes by Eldora. I'm going to add a little bit of the Modesty Coloured Lip Gloss. And then lastly, a little tiny bit of the Pure Light Liquid Radiance, just blend it in under the brow for that natural pop. So, Alibi Foundation, what's there not to love? 
Give us a wee message at Zoo Hearing Beauty if you want to find out anything more about these beautiful products. Stay safe, guys.